All right, so imagine for a second you've been talking to somebody on a dating app, hookup app, whatever you want to call it. You're talking for a bit. Everything seems to be working out, and you decide you're going to meet this person for the first time. So you get ready. You know, you get dressed. You grab your stuff. You head out, and you put your you put the address in your phone, and you show up there, and it's not that person's house. Somebody completely different, and then they just ghost you on the app. Um, well, you know, you might say, oh, is that real? Is that possible? Would somebody do that? Well, apparently, yes. Uh, Big Dipper here in a promotional clip from his podcast, Sloppy Seconds, talks about this in detail. And uh, we're going to watch the clip and then talk about why this is so awful and so problematic. And and primarily uh, for the gay community, it's a problem. I'm across the street in this unit, and then they'll come over. But if not, then they're banging on that person's door. If they want to bang. Like well, no. If they want to bang on the door, I'm saying it's clearly an apartment. It's not like a house across the street. Well, it's just a safety precaution for me. But you're saying that if you're not interested, these are guys that I'm messaging with no photos, completely random. So when you glance out the window, we were all going to be on your side. What are your? You're right. You said. What are you looking for that's making you decide whether if I'm attracted to them? This is fucked up. This is deeply fucked up. He only waited in the car like 20 or 30 minutes and messaging me. Are you not there? Are you coming? Sick. You're sick. You're sick. Okay. So let's unpack kind of what's going on there and and like Big Dipper's excuse for why Binda LaCrim um is such a random person to be on this podcast. Anyway, uh let's unpack this. So what Big Dipper is saying is that you know he's on a hookup app and he doesn't know what this person looks like. He doesn't, they don't have pictures or whatever. And so instead of just going, no, if you don't have a picture, you're not coming over, (laughs) which would be the logical thing to do. If you're not going to share at least a face photo with me, then you're, you're not coming over. You're not coming to my place. So instead of doing that, which is the logical thing to do, he decides that for his safety, he's going to send them to someone else's house, like another person's apartment, another person's uh, townhouse, whatever. And then he's going to watch and see what they look like. And then he's going to ghost them. If they, if they're not attractive, he's going to ghost them. It's just, this is problematic in so many different ways. Okay. First and foremost, um, if if someone's not going to send you a picture of themselves, then don't invite them over. Like these apps are already sketchy enough that, if someone's not willing to at least send you a face picture and they're coming to your place, you're the one hosting and having them over. Um, just say, no, I don't care. It, it can't be that good. Uh, if they're not willing to directly share like a photo with you, like that, that first of all, that's sketchy anyway, you know, but some people like that kind of stuff. I'm not trying to ick your kink. Like if that's your thing, then go for it. But let me tell you why this is an issue outside of just the safety of Big Dipper here. Uh, first of all, it puts the person in danger, the, the the address you're sending them to. Like, if this person really is out to do harm to someone, like they're going to show up and, and, you know, take all your stuff or something, you're sending them to someone else's address. That person could be just hanging out, you know, with their family. They could be by themselves. It could be someone who, uh, you know is socially awkward or whatever. Like you're sending them to someone's house to knock on the door under the assumption that they're going to be hooking up with you. So now they have this other person's address. Um, They're going to know who lives there because they're going to interact with them. And then they could do something. So for your safety, you send them to someone else's house. That's not cute either. The other thing is what about the danger for the gay community in general in 2024? Okay, what if this person doesn't have their picture on their profile, doesn't want to send it to you, but they legitimately just don't feel comfortable doing that? Kind of weird because they're still willing to come to your house, Um, but you're sending them to someone else's house where you don't know how that person is going to react. What if that person decides, oh, this guy that showed up who's trying to hook up with another guy. I don't like gay people, so I'm going to attack this person. I'm going to do something dangerous. Or I'm going to call the police, and the police show up, and that's all, you know, a whole another bag of uh, things to unpack there. Like, there's just so many issues with this, and the fact that this was released to advertise his podcast 
just goes to show that my idea of where social media is spiraling towards is pretty accurate. I do it with my thumbnails. I'm satirical with my thumbnails uh, as well. I sometimes throw random stuff in there to make it a bit more outrageous. But I still try not to cross over any lines because I think there's a certain level of decorum that you have to have um, before you go off the deep end. And I think this is probably not something that I would use in a podcast or to share and promote my podcast um, if I was looking for people to not think of me as a scumbag. Um, Because look, Big Dipper is kind of a bear icon. He's been, he's made music for years. Um, he's, he's well-known in West Hollywood. He's always participating in drag related content. His co-host is a drag queen. He has been to La Creme there from RuPaul's Drag Race. So there's a lot of, he's, he's involved with a lot of stuff. And I've been following him for a really long time. Uh, but this is kind of disgusting. I don't think it's like canceled. Like, I don't think this is canceled material. Um, I think there is a bit of accountability in it. Like, I, I feel like, if you're going to say something like this, you probably need to recognize that this is pretty fucked up and you shouldn't be doing it. However, he doubled down on his Twitter. He posted like, uh, let's hang out later today. And then he posted like another address, which I, he was trying to make fun of it. Um, ultimately, we can laugh at it if we're not the person being sent the wrong address or the person living in the apartment where this person shows up. Then it's funny because we're not involved with it. It's like watching. And, you know, something happening in the distance and you're not there. So you feel detached from it. Ha ha ha. Like, I, you know, that's pretty funny. Um, but look, let's talk about how outrage culture benefits the situation. So I'm talking about this right now. I've never mentioned Big Dipper on my show before, although I've, I've been following him for years. So we have a situation where this clip has now garnered attention uh, for his podcast. And what he's probably thinking, because we all do this this uh, social media thing, what he's probably thinking is there's going to be a chunk of people that really hate what he did and think it's disgusting. However, there might be another portion of that community that think the story is funny enough that they're interested to tune into the podcast to see what else happens in this conversation and possibly come back and continue to listen to the podcast. It is a, it is a roll of the dice, honestly. Uh, and we'll see if it pays off for him or not, but I'm going to say this from my perspective. Don't do this. Like it's a funny story in some ways, but it's just not cute. It's really kind of gross. Like don't get on hookup apps and be like, Oh, you can come to my place. Even if you don't have a face pick and then send them to your neighbor. That's just not cool. Cause then your neighbors are going to figure out eventually that it's you by process of elimination. Um, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm curious what you guys think about it. Uh, are you on the dating apps? Are you trying to hook up and you've done something like this before? I would love to know what your thoughts are on this down below in the comments. 